Hello, this is David Allen, and you are watching Sporting Icons. Wow, this was a pretty good fight. I've got to give it up to both Isaac Chamberlain and Luke the Duke Watkins. In fact, this fight went the full 10 rounds and both of these guys were gassed. I mean, proper gassed. I mean, I had this a draw up until round seven. And then I think round eight and nine, I thought Isaac Chamberlain was starting to nick it then. And at that point, I felt that Luke the Duke Watkins needed a knockout in the very final round. And in the very final round of number 10, of course, these guys just went at it and started swinging. Um, I thought in the first minute of the final round, um, Arthur Chamberlain got Watkins out of there. He hurt him pretty bad and he was on shaky legs and somehow um, Watkins managed to weather the storm. And then for the second minute of the round, it was pretty much all Watkins where Chamberlain was trying to gasp for air up against the ropes. And But luckily for Chamberlain, Watkins had zero energy left. But then with his what, five seconds left of the very final round, Isaac Chamberlain manages to tee off on Luke Watkins and drops Watkins. Um, the bell goes as the referee is still counting, of course, um, but he makes it to his feet, so he didn't get stopped in the very final round. But um, I haven't seen the result yet, but um, I think that I had it as Isaac Chamberlain winning this fight. It's just my opinion, of course. Um, I had him winning by two rounds, with one round to go, and obviously that knockdown as well certainly helped. But this was a fight of Isaac Chamberlain. There you go, Isaac Chamberlain has just won. Um, I've just seen it now. Um, so, yeah, I could agree with that one. I thought that Isaac Chamberlain came to box. He was the boxer in the fight, and Luke Watkins was the brawler. He was the one with the power punches. And both these guys had their moments in this fight. They really did, and it was very, very enjoyable. I mean, cruiserweights, you see a lot of people see cruiserweights as like smaller guys, but they're not much different to heavyweights. So, of course, when these guys give it their all in these fights, they will gas out. And both both guys do hit pretty hard. I think uh, um, Luke Watkins was certainly the bigger puncher in this fight, no doubt about it. But the timing and the speed of Isaac Chamberlain was what swung it. That was just my opinion, of course. But Luke Watkins, he can come back from this one and he showed that he's a real warrior no doubt, and obviously both of these guys lost their last fight against um, Lawrence O'Coley. Uh, but, yeah, worthy winner, um, in my opinion, for Isaac Chamberlain. I mean, the way that he was just going off on Luke Watkins with, like, seconds to go of round number 10. Um, yeah, I'm not surprised that Watkins took a knee. Um, I have no idea of, of the scores at all, but it doesn't really matter. For me, I had Isaac Chamberlain winning that one pretty close. And then Arthur Chamberlain took over for the last two rounds and certainly the final round with the knockdown as well. Would he have won even without the knockdown? I think so, probably. But Watkins, he can go back to Paddy Fitzpatrick's gym there and recuperate, take on a couple of journeymen, rebuild. So it's not over for him. I felt that if Isaac Chamberlain lost this one, then it may well be out the matchroom door. That's what, what I kind of felt for him. So he had to win this one more than Watkins did from that standpoint. But... You know what? Big up for both these guys for taking this fight. Neither one of them had to do it. Um, where they both could have took on a couple of journeymen, get a couple of wins, and then maybe had a fight. But you know what? They did it straight away, and both of them came to win. That is for sure. And Isaac Chamberlain certainly improved since the Coley fight, which, to be honest, wouldn't be too difficult because he, he, was, he was actually throwing punches in this fight, and he was being brave in this fight as well. And I think that maybe that surprised Luke Watkins. I think maybe that's what it is. So onwards and upwards for both these guys. Um, to be perfectly truthful, um, will these guys ever be world champion based on that? I don't know. I don't think so. I think certainly both of these guys could be British champion at some point, maybe European champion. World champion, I hope so, but I'm not confident of it. But anyway, we'll have to wait and see. So that's two British cruiserweights going at it, toe to toe in a fight that neither one of these guys had to take to be perfectly fair, but they both did. So very, very good fight. I enjoyed it quite a lot. You drop me your thoughts below how you th saw this fight. Um, do you agree with me that you had Isaac Chamberlain winning this one by a couple of rounds up until the very final round anyway? Or maybe you had Watkins winning, or maybe you had Isaac Chamberlain dominating the entire fight. I can't argue too much. There were certainly some, some uh, swing rounds. So anyway, big up both guys. Congratulations to Isaac Chamberlain. So he bounces back with a win over the former Commonwealth Cruiserweight champion. Luke the Duke Watkins. So drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up, and of course subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.